I grew up in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So kind of a Midwest attitude. Big steel mills around there. Extremely conservative family. <laughs> I'm a really loud, boisterous person. Uh, extremely expressive. And there are times when I'm really quiet, when I just like to blend into the background and like to watch and see what's going on. Can you save your life? Open the door to the mind and let your, let your heart feel. Close your eyes, you can see, start the night and understand, you can understand dreams, but remember child. Definitely being in a, a heavy alternative rock band was something very new for me. I fit in in black community, but I wasn't, I didn't fit into quite the straight black community because of my modifications and listening to alternative music and especially rock music. And in the queer black community, it wasn't quite the right fit because of some of those things in language and clothes. You're not quite into the mainstream rock community just because I was queer. I joined this heavy alternative rock band with all straight white guys. There are some really good black rock bands out there who just don't get play, even though their fans love them. Business-wise, they don't get the play, they don't get the money, they don't get the contracts. And so I think I was definitely a little disheartened in that, like, oh, me being a black man and playing rock and roll, it's what I love and I'm not gonna stop what I love. However, it seems like there's a limit and a capacity. Being in that first band, I think, was a pivotal point where I was able to see myself differently, perceive myself differently, and want different things for myself that I didn't want previously. I did go through some changes. I think it was definitely a, a growth period for me. Yeah, I think I, I've refound my confidence, and I think I was just coming into myself in a different way the more creative, expressive side of myself was, was starting to grow and to blossom. And I think the piercings were a way for that to go from one step to the next. I saw somebody with, like I think, a nose piercing and it was a little taken aback, like, oh man, that just looks a little rough. And I saw some stretched ears and it wigged me out a little bit, but that's exactly why I did it. Like, okay, this really bothers me, why does it bother me? So I had to try it. And I got my nose pierced, and that's how it started. Most people don't bat an eye, because it's San Francisco, it's the Bay Area. I mean, I get compliments and I get stares and I get freaked out looks. My big personality, my modifications, the way I look. For some people, I think it's overwhelming. Some people are really curious and they'll be respectful and say, hey, I like this. How did that happen? How did you do this? Other people will actually just want to come up and touch me, <laughs> which is crossing the line. <laughs> I do have some, <laughs> some uh, private space. If you open up your mind, you can do anything, anything, anything that all does. Put your mind to it, baby. The biggest thing that came out of it for me was it showed me how I move and use my body. When I get my elbow pierced especially, it's hot, it's in San Diego, it's summer. I just wipe my brow, wipe the sweat, I hit it, start cursing like, son of a... Then I had to actually be really aware of how I use my body, how I move my body in space and time. And it actually, the piercings helped me reconnect with my body and be more present inside my body. You can be a part of a history where love is given unconditionally to everyone who comes through the womb of life. When I moved up here, that's when I picked up a guitar and that's when I was living on my boat and started writing music. The stuff that I wrote has some rock attributes in it as well as some R&B, some soul, some funk and some jazz definitely more of my own musical upbringing, what I've been exposed to and, and what I've kind of gravitated towards. I feel like the songs I write, the content, yes, definitely it's personal. It's about some things that I've gone through, psychological scars, physical scars. I tell the truth about whatever it is I'm feeling and some of it can be negative, some of it can be harsh, some of it can be heavy, 
it ends up being that there's a positive message, at least underneath the song somehow. So somehow this positivity comes out in me even when I'm down on the doldrums and feeling kind of like just dark and dank and want something really heavy and uh, still something, a positive line comes through that somehow. So I would say my songs are usually about overcoming somehow. It was definitely meaning. I, definitely having harmony above my heart so I can just kind of be at peace in myself, in my body. And then having some love, faithfulness, and harmony here, and in transformation, I always feel like we should transform every once in a while. We should change. Change doesn't necessarily have to be permanent or drastic, but I think growth is evolution, it's growth, it's, it's movement, so I want to have some transformation and continue to be able to grow. And then having chance here is the most opportune thing that I can transform into a person that can transform into and then keep that as a circle as a flow of energy that's in my life and in my mind body you need